Now when he had ended all his saying, in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. Jesus Christ, for verse 1, the Bible says that when Jesus has finished preaching to the people, and audience, I mean also, we know that audience can be people also, but this, this time he's talking about the, the people, audience, they give attention to Jesus. They were attentive to hear the word. But yes, we predict a more and more. Only I said it. But they had gone and also don't go error to Jesus. They gave him, they gave him their ears. Don't go error. Don't don't listen. They paid attention to Jesus. And when he finished everything, he went into Capernaum, where he always recited when he was in his ministry. Verse 2. And the most of all, Jesus good at for Capernaum, in the Nazareth, and Lema the Nazareth, Nazareth, or Bussat Seda. Now I'm boy at the saint who peeps on good at the yet. So Jesus, we have to remember this one, that Jesus was based in Capernaum. Verse 2, And a certain centurion, servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. A certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick. And the person was ready to die. There was a centurion who means a lot. His servant means a lot to him. And the servant was sick and the servant was about to die. Not of a hook, but soon and some Centurion, I don't know how you say it in Swedish, but officer hall and servant, some between the Mickey for one of Pastor of Fruit of a redu a girl. I pray that anybody that means something to you, let no spirit of death or sickness fall upon them. Amen. Sometimes people life is going very well, and then until somebody who takes care of you. Someone who means a lot to you fall into sickness. And now everything changes. And this in this case, the person was ready to die. So I prophesy on you that let the hands of the people who means a lot to you may God intervene that nobody should die. Amen. Your way as Jesus Castu e at Hindra and of Durban. And come up for beat on some between the naked for that. For they didn't the grow, they didn't kill grey. Yesterday I was at the funeral. He gave away a point the grow. I mean, when I look at the, the old lady who has lost her daughter, just last year she lost her son. And then this, and then this year losing the daughter. I mean, I, I, I couldn't recognize this woman. Your shame ain't again. One of is so small. You're telling me one of She has become so lean. I thought it was somebody else. And I knew this woman from Ghana before coming to Europe. Your shame they have been in Ghana in your come to Europe. She has all her children so beautiful. You know, more gift me and beat. So Allah born in a mulatto, very beautiful. And to see her elder daughter die out of cancer within a short time. This woman has lived her whole life cancer free. Within a shortest time, go to hospital, cancer, pop, 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 dead. Just like that. And Queen and I said, they have done She's over 80. She's like 80 something. To see your children dying. This is not an easy thing. They yeah. read the Broadway. I do mama book, do a four or seven and born the end of the end. It's not a good thing. It is eating it up. I went and sat down and when I was 
looking through the crowd. Then I recognized her. I said, my God. She looked like she's about to go. And I went close to her, hugged her. And you know, she was all done. But I pray that somebody that means a lot to you is not going to be taken away. Amen. Verse 3, verse 3. And when he had heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servants. So this centurion, this officer, heard about Jesus has come back to Capernaum. And this thing is happening at Capernaum. I pray that Jesus come around you when there is a problem. Amen. Because when Jesus was in other town, the man's hope was finished. Mm -hmm. But when he heard that Jesus has come to his home, then he went to the elders of the church, the people who didn't like Jesus, the Pharisees, the scribes. He went to them that I need you people to do me a big favor. Today, let's hear, let's hear what happens. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. He asked them, the centurion asked the Jewish, the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that they should go and beg Jesus Christ to come and heal his servant, who means a lot to him. And this shows you that if the servant could be replaced, the centurion wouldn't have gone through all this trouble. I pray and I prophesy over you that may you be irreplaceable. Amen. Your bed over air at this couple Irreplaceable. They the killed the excess that eh? <coughs> eh? And who who excess leak? That you are irreplaceable. The man felt that this servant of mine understand everything about my work, my house, the business I run. So if this guy dies, my business go down. My house go down. My life go down. So he has to go out of his way. He has to go out of all his prestige and bring himself down and go and see the elders and beg them to go and see Jesus to come and heal this my guy because he means a lot to me. The have man and after some man and between the week for Hono, had I'm bored to say, I'm bring I'm and you or he to dumb Later, or boredom, and can he go obey Jesus at Komahem or Hela? Me. Shara, shara. I pray that let somebody see you in that way. Amen. That your being alive means a lot. Your bay at Nogo was said that after some do labor, they betrayed me before, or don't, don't fuss at the Pardon my speech, don't worry. And he says, And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy of whom he should do this. Don't come to Jesus, or so to Jesus. Do they have man in some, you'll be feeling this can go here, and share it, for share They have. He says that the man is worthy of what he is asking. This person deserves what he is asking. This person needs this attention. And you have to do it. And, and for the first time, the Pharisees that didn't like Jesus has to also humble themselves to come to Jesus. May people who don't like you, who don't believe in your God, let something happen in somebody's life for them to come to you that I want you to help me. Amen. Amen. He used the same God that we doubted you that you had. Use the same power that we doubted that you had. Use the same revelation that we doubted that you have to save our situation because we have a problem. We obey over here. Lord, no one somehow in the truth for the Jesus. Come on to a put in living. That of the behalf of being burned. Don't come above the in craft. Don't come above the in throw. Don't come above the in repelling food. Hello, Uber boy. Uber boy. 
Let somebody need you. For sometimes God can wait for people to reject you, reject you, reject you, and then God creates a scenario, creates a situation, and then they reject it. The, the cornerstone will be needed. Oh, yes. And then they will come and pick you up and say, Oh, sorry, we rejected you for so long, but we, we, we were just sinners. So forgive us, but now help us. <laughs> and then when you, you are a man of God, you can't do anything, you gotta help. It brings a good campaign or not tell us. So God can allow a scenario, a problem, an issue to come up so that you will be acknowledged. One day, one day, just God, you can talk about any door. Or end of the one day, just like that. one day you can go to bed. One day you can just wake up, and that day could be the day that God said, "This is it. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to." Amen. One day, <laughs> it doesn't take much. You can come out to end up, end up, or end up here in the end up. It doesn't need many, many days. We plan many, many days. We plan the days how things are going to be, but God can just be. I'm going to do it on the Saturday morning. Amen. And it will be unannounced. Don't come to bed and don't you know the the groups are pop with me. One day. Let your day be today. Amen. They say he's worthy of what he's asking and what you should do for him. For he loved our nation and has built us a synagogue. Verse 5. For he loveth our nation and has built us a synagogue. Oh. Hobbit. And so for the Hapasune, Hobbit and Shilka for us. The Hapasune and Elska for Nakum. He loves our nation and has built a synagogue for us. So based on that, they are using this thing that the person has done to compel Jesus Christ to come. There's some man who you see the guy, the man who went on there for four years, I come out a hater. There's some of you for Jews who's. Jesus come up alone and like. Whatever you do for the house of God, your reward will come. When they came to Jesus, the, the people who didn't like Jesus came to Jesus, they begged Jesus, number one. Number two, they told Jesus that even the church you see us having in, where we worship, it is not our own, it's that man, it's that same man who built it for us. So you better join us and go with your power. We know we've been arguing with you, we've been fighting you, we've been insulting you, but put everything behind. Because if not, if that man's servant die, he can fold up the church and we will not have a place to serve. And he said, go and see this man because he also loved the Jewish nation. Because Jesus is a Jew also. Jesus is a Jew, so he says, Han tikeron vot nafun, hano de has more big than I who said, there are these two of the precepts, so Jesus be there. Lemna, lemna, or forlot us, in other words, maybe, forlot us, I think your son will die, I think your youth will die, for the hand man and most of the that. Let something happen in your life like this, that people will go before God and say, God, no matter all the bad things I've said about this person, today I need you to heal him. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 6. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou should enter under my roof. So when Jesus was not too far from the man's house, the guy, the centurion, sent friends. He didn't even want to go himself. He sent friends that go and tell Jesus that I'm not worthy for him to come to my house. He shouldn't trouble himself. This, you know, it's amazing how rich people who support God's work can be so humble. Don't reek as some yeah, for you say, Don't come for so early. 
It's amazing. I'm thinking about this guy, and I, can, I've, I've, I think I've met a lot of characters like that. People who can support God's business, uh, God's business, God's kingdom. They can do so much, and wouldn't even want to be mentioned. Wouldn't even want to be seen. They can be at the background of everything. They support the most. They are the quiet the most. But sometimes we have this tendency that the little we do for God, we demand stuff. You can, this, this man could have demanded Jesus to come and stay even in his house. Yes, he's come on pool, he needs use, but they just go shop the uh, uh, shinkanti, don't for a sin and some priest like that. Man, they have money for so herb milk. I said, yes, they don't. You want to come ahead, man. I get what I'm saying. Humility is a beautiful, is a beautiful character. Humbleness is so beautiful. It's a nice thing. And he's even saying that I'm not wealthy for you to come under my roof. You know, this kind of stone or someone talks on mine. Jesus. Not just because I've built you a house, so I'm demanding and I'm claiming anything, but I, 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 don't, I reverence you, I fear you, I respect you. Even the, the, the leaders who went to call Jesus, they don't have that kind of respect for Jesus Christ. Don't some you call the Jesus, don't want the hands, don't, don't, don't respect that the Jesus would have said it. And I bet you they would have probably come while Jesus is having some small Bible studies in the, in the house and they would say, Jesus, forget about all these people. Come, there's a better problem here we need you to solve. They, they only have that respect for Jesus. Alright? May your way at Navi Yer for Guild, or Navi Yer Day Guild say, this is a full set of our El Yuka, or full set of El Scarm. The Haman, he says in verse 7, Wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in the word, and my servant shall be healed. <coughs> the man said that I didn't even think myself to be worthy to come to you, to approach you, so I'm begging you, speak from wherever you are. I said, you're, 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 you're foreshadowing the commander of that. So your villa is got tall and it wood. Don't wood as the book of say in a foot behavior. So this man probably have heard that before people get healed, Jesus used to say some words. So speak one of those your words. And my servant will be healed. Speak in that word. Speak your word. Say that thing that you always say and have him respond. There is a key, there's a word in your mouth that you need to be saying it all the time for heaven to respond. The problem with us is that we get tired of saying, confessing what God is expecting us to confess. Problem with us is that we retract that for a full set that taller, don't grade us on good be harder. If we retract. We say, good, you ask it, you ask it, you ask it, you Immoral. Man, I'm going to this guy full set, this guy be a character. Don't dog at us on the share, not the days you don't feel like saying it. Those are the days that it will mean something powerful in heaven. And you need to push yourself. Say, God, you know what? I still love you. If it's difficult, only for your being, start by saying, God, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Even if I'm going to argue with you, I want to know that I love you. Before we start the argument. Yes, if you start the, you start the argument, you don't. Man, in a, in a, in a, you have to that you have to discover that your air sky. And if you're able to say your air sky, come the other end of they bring you man arguments. There will be no arguments. You see, everything will ice down. Everything will cool down. So that shows that we need to appreciate this car, Uskata. Um, yeah, Uskata, yes? Appreciate. Appreciate the gifts of God. Appreciate life. Appreciate uh, um, the health. Uh, appreciate everything that God has given us. We be this Uskata, yes, Uskata. Appreciate it. He said, I never taught myself to be worthy to even come to thee. But saying that word, my servant will be healed. May today, every prayer we are going to pray within some minutes. Every prayer we are going to pray, 
May God hear your prayer. Amen. And may he answer your prayer. Amen. For I myself, I am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. So the centurion, who I believe probably is a, a Greek or He's not a Jew. He's not a Jew. He's not a Jew. I believe that he has examined Jesus' ministry and he has seen that Jesus has been placed under authority. Jesus' ministry has been placed under authority. Oh, from your your offered mark them from Caesar as your can quicker folk or of your. That's got certain folks that come as a common. Your certain folk that you are there, so you are on there. Your certain folk, you are there, so you are on there. So the man has analyzed the ministry of Jesus Christ, knowing that Jesus can speak to that sickness, go, and the sickness will go. Can tell the sickness. Not to come back and it will not come back. So he said, I am, I am set under authority just like the way you are set under authority. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not whole. Everybody has an authority in the realms. The authority, the power that God has given you, what you can do, how far you can do, what you can cast out and what you can cast out, what you can pray about and for heaven to answer you. Everybody, according to your suffering for God, according for, to your, your suffering for Jesus Christ, they they shape the dumb song of the they they marked, marked. The pain, the, the struggles you go through in life is what gives you power. It places you on high. If you look at Jesus Christ, Jesus was led by the Spirit to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. After the temptation, boom, he got power. The Bible said that then he was filled with the power. So the things you overcome empowers, empowers you. Don't provide some do goyeno, some do well, overcomes. Do claw off, no? They hear the mat. Or don't so that go for the mat over. Can you pay for an anna at Pasunas can be free? The demons know. Demon and vex. On do a cloud of non thing, do one mark over them. So that they come obey for no one, don't vex that. They know. The, the demons know. If you have not fought and challenged the enemy and overcome the enemy, you only have power in that area. Huh? In that area to free other people. What you free yourself on is what you can free other people on. That is why you know other people, a lot of monga horse on some grace. You know, you have some grace that you know delivers, like the ha, the ha, the ha shika. It, it, they share for, for, for deliverance. As long as you let me come in here, the more you must come on the further. Thunder! It is it is Saturday. Is it Saturday? Is it Sunday? Wow! Going to church. Even me, eh? Monday. Even me, me, me. I can feel it. But if I force myself out of my house and I get here, it's gone. It's gone. So good, eh? So good, eh? I not so good, eh? 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 Vinka to Jesus, but Vinka. If you agree with me, what I'm saying, oh, yeah. just, just, just wait to Jesus. Yeah. When you have a deliverance ministry, on no hall, some gobba, they will fight you. To come to be free, they will fight you. On, on the, if it's a social club, on the what I'm born in social club, that we call more this guy, tit up football, or this guy, drink up oil, or hey, hop a dancer, hey, do spring off of this hand. <laughs> yeah, they win that. Even if it's a social club, a social gathering, you will run from here, you come a comma, 
Hey, TV, TV guy. You will come in time, you will come early. Because there's no resistance. The first thing you think, so many, you move to death, you go yoda. There, you know, there's no evil power that is against that. So you are being held. Look where, look where he that set it, set it to get here, you will find it very easy. But when it's time for you to get to the house of God, you find so many problems. Mm, the weather, the very the the grow, this and that is, you know, the enemy will do all this stuff. For him that I forgot, not a yeah. be free as it. Because when we get together like this, we umuntra mahandra. When we get together like this, we encourage each other. You see me, I see you. Oh, you're still going on? You're still doing well? We continue. Oh, yes. Because we are in a nation where we are covered with so much darkness. Hmm? We, we are in the, you know, this place is covered with so much darkness. And we need each other. No matter what, we need each other, and we need each other in the presence of God. So it's going to be freer. He marveled, you know, for Jesus to, to get shot. Yeah, that, that is a big one. He marveled. He was amazed. I pray that your behavior, your bear, just can also make a throw. And Jews can be for Vona. Can be for Vona, you. Marvel. Your own thing of four years can be for Vona. Wow. May he dog his leg and be fitting into the Kayora for four good or for one. But I'm very happy this Kayora. But Jesus, when he was here, there was, there was a, a little bit kind of, you know, the way he used to see from the top when he was with the Father is different from when you are on the ground. So, Don Saul who has answered that, that Jesus was for forborn. The disciples were able to see on the face of Jesus that Jesus was shot. To hear something, uh, uh, not a Jew, inter a Jude, a non Jew, inter non some a Shirka. In class, so they, you know, if they pass so you do come before one another, four cases of the A Shirka, they are through a very constant. Or those of the A in the A Shirka, the more a unique through. Vow for through that, vow them, never say a way a Christian, or they'll say that you are a known thing, so they fail. I said, ah, don't come on to this. Ah, a in the new Christian. Don't, don't hold on the tank and say that, don't forget to say this can be taken for the hand of sin. I'm saying that the world see Christ or, or God in a different way than the way we see, we see him. Oh, yes. We know we are in the church. Can, can was so manipulative, can was very naive and take things for granted and never. That's how you go to the world and you are behaving in a certain way. An unbeliever will come to you and say, ah, brother, I think I saw you on TV, man, preaching. Are you a Christian? I don't believe Christians are supposed to be doing what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And they are wrong. Are you also a Christian? No, 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 I'm not a Christian. But I know what you are supposed to be doing. <laughs> and this is not what you are supposed to be doing. So God and that, who, how we are supposed to be behaving. And they know, they have like a, they don't even read our Bible, but they know how we are supposed to behave. Oh, yes. They have proper understanding mm -hmm. than we. So I can see the faces of the Pharisees and all these people standing there that mm. when this man is praising Jesus, now the young man lift up Jesus to say, oh, now Jesus, you're very big marked. You're very good you of a single time. You know, and, and these people are thinking about their offerings and their tithes from the used to come and stood there and think, you know, they have killed and snuck so well. Oh, Jesus, don't be there. I went to the airport there. They have some more beat. They have shirika for us. Or do snack and so God on Jesus. Don't throw your betrothed to the buffoon of them. Now they are thinking, they are thinking, the way Jesus Christ is being praised by this, this, uh, this man who always support us when we need anything, that means no more support for us. He will take all his support to Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. So now they are quiet. But you see, when God ordained and put people in your life to help you, to build you up, they will continue to do it faithfully. Amen. So don't panic. Don't panic. Amen. Amen. I pray that we will behave well. Your prayer, Fiska, will behave well 
that will cause our Lord to marvel if it's possible. But now, according to my, my understanding, I don't think it's possible to get God to marvel again. And he turned about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. So yes, it's then the home say, or did the Podom so fell the home? So then you're saying your Adri. Adri. Hey, let me leave for the high you the threat in on your your heart is said no because I'm also stuck through so I have money. Amen. Can you imagine? Lying on Pharisee na Adam Eda. All these people who are following Jesus Christ, the, the, the disciples, the Pharisees, all of them heard Jesus. He turned around, he stopped the journey, and he turned and said, Listen, yeah. as long as I believe in this in this planet, I've never seen anybody with such great faith like this man. In other words, like this unbeliever, this person who doesn't go to church. They have persons who enter in his condition through bed. I'm a better to and true. And he has positioned Jesus on such a high level. My God. Not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servants whole that had been sick. This is this is this is too much. I mean on the on the on the on the on the further day or sat, yes is born in days. Jesus didn't even pray. Just the belief of the man. Set the man in through the problem. They did not draw his juice now for the hand. Or yes is only the sat at wood. Or the come to box hand. Or man in what he had. The unbeliever got what he wanted. One, he is a good person. He has built a church for God. He has served well. He has respected Jesus. He has honored him. He has placed him very high. Why wouldn't God heal the servant who was ready to die? Go and show him love. And it will be something that's cost me more. If I treated him okay, I could have kept the little thing that I have in my pocket. But sometimes you go and show him love, I might have to maybe go and bless him with some money. Oh, the Lord says I should bless you. Please forgive me. I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So let's be, let's be very gentle. Let's acknowledge everybody's gift. Jesus Christ, from the beginning of his ministry, knew who Judas was. Oh, yes. And he, he acknowledged his gift. Hmm. He said, This guy is this, this Judas, and Eska Pena. So Eska Ye Al Pena to honor. <laughs> Can you imagine? Judas, Escapena. Escape, Alpena. And, and I know by then, Cafe Lion and the man that can say, Jesus, stood Mr. You are doing a big mistake. Big mistake. Wrong person, wrong person. Those who be giving signs behind Judas. Jesus, nine, 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 nine. But Jesus, I know. He is not my source. Me mm. four is so weak. As you can go, you can fall paying a boss of us. You can go a hand and feast, or open the moon and for feast, or the feast peg and I am not limited. So lots of you that stop paying and I'm the day have you off. Are you with me? Do you see when you know your source is greater, you don't you don't you don't limit yourself. No, no, no. There was a man who came to my office. Some some of you here brought a man to my office two, three days ago. And I was shocked about you know all the testimony the man was giving, giving or sharing. One thing that God kept on my mind was that when he went into business, he wanted to shoe business. They had a boutique, a big shoe boutique. And then the person he was doing the thing with, the person tried to cheat him. They had another school boutique. He had just two school boutique. Or and you, some some has been compis. He let me the boy and some good meet your one. He took his part of the keys and he threw it at the man. Take it. Just like that. And when the man was talking, I was just looking at the man and said, wow. <coughs> just like that. Do you know why? 
In his conversation, he has opened other shoes to things before. Okay? That was so. He's opened shoes to things before. So he knows the source to do it. He's not limited. You only fight people when you believe this is your last best. Huh? The broker on some of things on the vet that they had in the sister or in the best that your woman was in for immediately. I hope you are with me. You will fight over 100 crowns, the last 100 crowns in your pocket. You will fight a brother over it because you believe that this is my last and best. But on the throw, they come a flare on their laptop. He takes that one, he do not want. Okay, fine. Take it. So there will be no fight. There will be no argument. If you know your source, on the vet, daddy, yell, call my phone. If you see anything, if you see anything, I broke up. If you see anything, I broke up. You wouldn't fight. Amen? Let's turn our feet. Thank you, Jesus.
complica food. The complications are coming to an end. He says the Lord. He says, seek me now. Seek me now. Seek me now. chapter 8 verse 31 from verse 31 we are going to talk a lot about a little bit of being stretched being stretched 31 says that and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer he said, Jesus, he, Jesus Christ, must suffer. He's teaching a whole sermon about how he must suffer. Hmm. Many things, not one thing, many things. He said, he started to teach them about how he must suffer many things. And be rejected of the elders. He said, he's going to be rejected of the men of God. The current men of God at that time are going to reject him. I get what I'm saying. He said he began to teach them how he must suffer many things, many things, and will be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be killed and after three days rise again. So this is Jesus talking about how he's going to suffer and he's preparing the disciples because he knows that when suffering starts coming, you stop becoming popular. Where anytime you are going through anything, you, you see the face of this church now. The way you know, few of us are coming now to pray and all these things. You wait when God turns things around. There will be people who will tell you that, oh, no, 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 we've always been there. Oh. We are the foundation of the, it's even, it's even my shoe that they use to build the building. No, so the suffering comes. But Jesus wanted to, them to understand that the suffering, he must go through it, even though he is the son of God. So every believer must understand that you go through, you go through suffering. Peter, Peter says that, he said that you, 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 you go through suffering for just a short while and then your joy will come. Because he is one of the people who understands that 
the suffering time was not sweet. So later when he started writing his book, he has the shortest, because I thought Peter was the, the, the head of all the disciples, he would have the longest book. But he rather wrote some few verses and then that's it. And all, ar- all along he went around, around doing the work of God, you know, but he didn't want to write much. That's, that, that is the disadvantage of not being ed- well-educated like Paul. If Peter was well-educated like Paul, Peter would have written more. But because Paul was very educated, even his argument between churches, he's writing it. And we are reading it today. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? Uh, uh, later on, I, I, I will let you read some things that he wrote, and you, you, you marvel. But let's continue. And he, and he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. So Peter took him to the side and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou sovereignest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of man, of men. He, 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 Peter took Jesus Christ to the side and started rebuking Jesus. That Jesus, you are not going to die. You are not going to suffer. And, and, and Jesus turned to the disciples and he saw that, look at the leader you have. If I don't rebuke this Satan that has possessed him, he will mislead all everybody. So Jesus is talking about suffering. Now, and I went, I went on to say that you sovereign, he said that you don't think like a child of God. The, the main thing that the Lord wants us to understand that just because we go through trials, we shouldn't think that God has given up on us. So Peter, Peter was telling Jesus, I will not let you suffer. But then Jesus was telling Peter that you are thinking like Satan. Sovereign, get thee behind me, Satan. For thou sovereign not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. He says that when you see trials and you start... unto them whosoever will come after me let him deny himself so it comes to a point that we we have to deny ourselves it looks like these meetings have become more like leaders meetings so you leaders need to understand the sufferings and the benefits that comes along with the trials that one goes through in life he says that he told them that anyone that will come after me let the person deny himself eh, and take up his cross and follow me. He said, first of all, deny yourself, mm -hmm, take up your cross and follow him. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, for for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. For, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What can you give in exchange for your soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adultery, adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed of when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the only angels. It's a lot of stuff. We've dropped on your plate now. He says that any time you become... You begin to compromise. Anytime you begin to be ashamed of the Lord, check when we talk about being ashamed of the Lord. When we talk about being ashamed of the Lord, it is about, can you evangelize? Can you evangelize and be bold about evangelism? Can you talk to people about your Lord and do not panic? Or can you evangelize to a pretty young girl? Who is heading towards you? Or can you evangelize to your dream man who is walking towards you? You know, there are certain people that when you see them, you don't want them to know anything about your God. 
Can you evangelize to an old classmate that you know? He, he, say, he, he says that these are the things that shows that you are not ashamed of him. Can you tell your boss that boss, I love you, I respect you, I honor you, but I cannot work on Sundays. And I can't work on the days that I have church service. So this is my, my church schedule. You do a timetable around it for me. He said, can you do that? You can't. It shows you. It is not man to survive. Because he said that what at all can you give in exchange of your soul? Is it your job? Is it job? Job. Because you see, the previous verse said that it's going to be a woman. Are you getting what is happening there? I will put enmity. Enmity. The word enmity is an, is an ongoing fight that has no end. Everlasting fight. And I said, God, you should have said that I will put enmity between you, Satan, and Adam. I said, no. Woman. And then the spirit. Are you there? Thou art cursed above all the... Okay, no. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed not seeds not plural but singular thy seed between thy seed and her seed mm? so so do you think god was talking about serpents alone he was talking about satan he didn't get that one he says that i will put enmity between thee and the woman mm? and he says that in her seed so everything that woman will born will become an enemy so the first assignment was for eve to fight satan but now eve passed on that curse has passed on to both male and female you are not capturing this stuff now. so every every person that came out of a woman's womb now you are qualified to fight but the first fight was between the, the woman, the mother of all nations, and Satan. And if Eve was able to finish that work then, we wouldn't be fighting today. Are, are you with me? And it says that in I seed. And it, it shall bruise, you see, the, another thing here. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. It shall bruise thy head, and then is healed so we can only kill the serpent just like what jesus told us that you have to trample upon the head i give you power to do what trample upon serpents and scorpions so the only way we kill the snake we killed satan is by messing up with the ideology the thinking system satan how does he fight us ideas now words he puts in our mind oh you're not good nothing good is happening you are weak. You are not strong. And then these are the only way. So if we can fight him in our head, we've done what Jesus said. Okay? Now continue. Let's go to Jude. Let's go to Jude. Well, of, of people that have been set above you or in your church, people that are God have set above you. You can speak of now, now the reason why, look at this. Look at the reason. It says, verse 9, Yet, are you there? This one you must read it to yet michael the archangel when contending with the devil he disputed he disputed about the body of moses there is not bring against him a rolling accusation but said the lord rebuked thee now do, do you know what that means do you know what this whole bible verse means he says that looking even the archangel when he was fighting satan he knows the dominion, the power that God has given Satan. So he dares not do what? Brought any roaring accusation. He was not just talking to Satan anyhow. Because he remembered that this Satan, this Lucifer, was, he was up there with me. And he was higher than me. What was the previous verse saying? Men who what? Despises dominion and speak evil over, against what? Dignitaries. You're not, you're not doing these studies with me. I'll close. We'll start praying. Mm? 
so and then he went down to the next verse he said that even even that's what yet means that even michael the archangel when contending fights contention about what the body of moses you know that god was the one who buried moses that was the only man that god buried himself god buried moses and hid his body and nobody could find it up to up to date uh, what do you call them those people who dig the ground archaeologists every time they are trying to discover moses body i said how can you discover something that god has buried they cannot discover it now so so it's impossible they want to discover pharaoh they want to discover those ones they will find their bones and put them together but as for what god buried so he says that because you see moses died in sin moses died in sin actually because because of the pain his church members took him through if you look through mamo here you can see a lot of pastors are, are, are embittered you see pastors in town as, as you see pastors in town do you greet them they will not greet you they are there because members have put them into that position and if you should, you should die today they are going to they are, they are not going to heaven it's true now oh pastor 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 don't see you <laughs> pastor 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 don't see it's the same thing with moses now moses died in pain he thought he was doing it for god and god said no no it's, it's my law my law said that you have to let them go forgive them release them but you see it's the truth now so he said that even the archangel when contending with the devil he he dares not another version was saying that he dares not he didn't disrespect satan but he just said the lord rebuked thee are you getting my point over here so 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 we have to be careful that you know we know that i know god didn't take the power from satan i know it i know because satan said it himself in matthew he said that for all these powers has been given unto me and whosoever i choose i'll give you have you ever read it before matthew chapter 4 is there ah, you want to go there yeah what about john yeah yeah he's giving us that power but he didn't add satan's power to your power your power is supposed to fight satan's power he, he went down to hades they say he say he went down to hades to to collect the keys or the key over uh, over what death i think that he, does he has to do with satan nothing he has nothing to do with satan so the man had, if he doesn't have power i mean the hell you have been going through is that not powerful by itself no no no, no. i want us to be honest now we've been going through some stuff and 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 i want you to understand that yes he has his power he has what he does and he does it very well jesus even came to salute the man he said hey satan's kingdom don't mess so it is organized he said the kingdom of satan the kingdom of darkness is not against itself they are organized so uh, why, why why are we going to so so yes he has his power but then the power that the lord has given us is is for us to what control our mind control our faith continue to believe just like what jude is saying that we have to believe and then when you believe and what you believe is what you do what you believe is actually what you do you can't say that oh god you know i love you in my head the day i get this thing then i'll show you my love no 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 you don't believe what you believe is what you do and he says that he says the 10 i've always loved this verse 9 i used to when i used to be in the prayer warriors team we used to quote it thinking that but we never quote it the way now i'm seeing it that archangel michael didn't disrespect satan he dares not bring any rolling accusation. Do you know what rolling accusation is? Oh, you Satan, clear off this place. Oh, get away. Who are you? Oh, Jejeme, Jeme. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> that is a rolling accusation. But he said, Satan, this thing it has nothing to do with me. I know you before, but this assignment is the Lord. It's the Lord who has asked me to tell you to leave the body. So he said, the Lord rebuke you, not me. Not me. I don't have anything to do with this stuff, but it's the Lord. So you see the tonation there? The tonation there is, is, is great. 
but they speak evil of those things which they know not. He said these people they talk about things they don't, they don't even know. Are you with me? They talk about things they know not. But what they know naturally eh, as, as brute bre uh, beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Hmm? He said these things that they talk about it makes them it makes them become corrupt. I'm not saying that just go around and be afraid of Satan. Hey, hey, hey. no, no, no. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that you have power. The Lord has endowed you with power. But the thing that you need to understand also is that fear the man who is fighting day and night against your downfall. Are you getting what I'm saying? Fear this spirit who doesn't want you to stand. Fear this spirit. Know that the enemy. I mean, look at Jesus. Jesus looked at Peter and he prayed for Peter so long. He said, Peter, let me let you know what is happening. Satan has desired. Okay, look at a, power, a powerless Satan. He says, Satan has desired to swift you as wheat. But I've been praying for you. Not one prayer, not two prayers. Praying. <laughs> I'm always praying for you, Peter. I've seen your future is great and Satan wants to shift you as wheat. But I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm still praying. And the day that my prayer will work, that will be the day you'll be converted. That day, when you become converted, please strengthen your bread. But not now, now you'll be against me. Now, when I go to the cross, you run away from me. Are you getting the scriptures here? This is Jesus now. I'm praying for you. He said. Hmm? Ah, this message should have been on Sunday. Oh God. <laughs> I'm liking it myself. And then he gave them another example. He says, He said, Woe unto them, for they have done. They have gone in the way of Cain, of Cain and ran greedily after arrows of Balaam for reward and perished in this, the again saying of Carol. Now, this place, this Bible verse alone, he gave, the, he gave us two examples. He says that now, he says those people who are, are teaching the other people these things, they have gone and they are behaving like Cain. What, 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 what is the first thing when you think about Cain? Cain and Abel, what, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? When you think about Cain, Cain, the one who killed? Eh? Enviness, thank you very much. Ah, you get the donuts. You get it. Enviness of how Abel was humble in worship. Humble in giving. Humble in sub submissive. He looked at his brother, how God is receiving his prayers and everything. That was the first sign that you see when you look at any time Cain comes around, you, you, you know that this is the thing. He envied the brother. And now the next person that he picked up here, he says that um, the greedy prophet, Balaam. You, have you heard the story of Balaam before? Okay. You, you pray for me that God will grant me some grace. We'll be going to some Old, old books just to get the stories in your systems. He says that Balaam also was because he was a prophet who somebody would say that hey, go and uh, go go and curse go and curse the children of Israel and when the man tries to do it then he sees God's hand protecting the children of Israel. He says I can't curse these people because these people are blessed and every time he opens his mouth automatically the blessing came out. And then the man too will increase, the king will increase more blessing for him. He will add, he say, oh, 10 goats is not enough. Make it 200 goats now. Curse them. So the thing was not working. So he's been known as a, as a prophet who goes after wealth. Hmm? For gain saying. And then verse 12, let's see what he's saying. So he's given us, you see from verse 6, he has given us example after example after example, every example that ever existed, how people stop believing in God and God turn against them. As they say, these are spots in your, your feats of charity. You see? Oh, this is, this is another thing. 
when that when they feast with you finding themselves without fear clouds clouds they are without water they are clouds if somebody say cloud without water do you understand what it means you see the clouds up there it's full of water but it says a cloud without water that means uh, people worshipers but they are not anointed uh, uh, people who claim to be Christian but they are not they are not connected so yeah just cloud without water and he says that in in the first thing he says that there are spots in your charity he said when you when, when even you choose to give your giving is not correct charity you know what charity is giving being cheerful cheerful giver he said when even you choose to give they are complaining in your in your giving your mind is not connected to your giving you don't give right that means probably you don't pay your tithes when you are paying your tithes you say oh no no no, i can't give all this to god let me let me give god half so they say there are spots in your giving and it says here um carried about of carried about of winds out about of winds trees whose fruits withered without fruit twice dead plucked up by the roots so it shows you this is all talking about tree that has in bear fruit um it goes on and on and on but let me jump because when you get home you can read the rest but let me bring you to another thing then we can we can we can pray it says um, come to verse uh, 17 Oh, there's so much there's so much but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord jesus christ how that they told you there should be there should be mockers in the last time who walk who should walk after their own ungodly lust these be they who separate themselves sexually having not the spirit but ye beloved building up your building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost keep yourselves in the love of god looking for the mercy of your lord jesus christ unto eternal life and of some have compassion making a difference and others save with fear pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment or hating even the garment spotted by flesh so now let, let, let me just quickly phrase it up he said there are some people you can save them by showing them love there are some people you must save them by preaching a fearful gospel some people save them out of fear are you getting me you save them and pulling them out of fire some people must hear you see now the word what we are doing is that we are preaching this sweet sweet gospel so people don't believe that there's any judgment again so everybody's living in hell but we have to preach the judgment of god that this is what will happen so jude when he's about to finish this thing he's saying that some this message that i've given you you cannot preach it everywhere but some people you should preach it to them and the fear of god will enter into their heart and you pull them out of fire but some people you should only preach it and having compassion making a difference so you use compassion messages to grab them so he splitted the message at the end in the same verse now this is what we are going to stand up on to pray now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy so he says that he's talking about jesus christ that he's the only one who is able to keep us from falling now i'm not saying that since i'm bashing on righteousness i'm not saying that i am i am uh, never going to fall i am perfect but I, 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 if i fall i will rise and confess my sin and i will continue the process of perfection you don't you don't understand that one. you want to believe that you are not perfect so any when you fall you will stay there and you will stay unperfected but even even there's a bible verse say that now let us go from repentance unto perfection so that means heaven is requiring perfection from us jesus said that be ye perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect so just because i fall short right now if i sin right now i'm not perfect but when i confess my sins i become what 
are you getting the difference? Yeah. When you confess, you become perfect. And if you love to keep the perfection, you continue. And then if you want, you can do, you can do check. You can check yourself before you go to bed. You can sit down and check. You say, Holy Spirit, have I seen anywhere today? What have I said today? What have I done today that was evil? Have mercy. Reveal it to me so I can confess and continue to be perfect. That is what you can do every day. So let's stand on our feet. Let's pray this prayer. That now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. Uh, we are going to pray that may Christ keep us from falling. Falling is not your, your portion. Falling is not your portion. Falling is not your portion. Falling is not your portion. I was, I was, I was watching uh, uh, one of the deliverance that we did in this house. A, a, a demon was angry and was saying that somebody prayed. Hmm? He said the person prayed one night and the person dealt with them in the spirit and because of the way the person dealt with them in the spirit they wanted to kill the person are you getting what i'm saying you are not getting me you're not getting me so even your prayer here satan gets angry at you now eh? satan gets angry at you the person prayed and then the spirits said that that prayer that person did really troubled them. So they decided that now we are going to deal with this person to end the person's life. Eh? And God came through. And God called it. So your prayer, whether you are, don't, do, do not be deceived. Don't think that you are just wasting your time. Your prayers are working. They are shaking Satan. It is worrying Satan. Satan is confused and is frustrated. So your prayer is good. So release these prayers over your life that may the Lord keep you from falling as the Bible verse you've read. May the Lord God keep me now from falling, from falling. That's your first prayer. Oh, pray it well. Pray it well. Lord, keep me from falling. Keep me today from falling. Keep me tomorrow from falling. Keep me. Let me continue this journey of perfection. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Oh Lord, keep me from falling right now. I pray today over my life that Lord, nothing will, will worry my mind. Nothing will worry my spirit. Nothing will confuse me. Nothing will frustrate me. But keep me from falling. Keep me from falling right now. Right now. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Lord Jesus, keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. That every demon, every, every spirit, every witch, every soothsayer, every devil that is after my falling, I come against that devil that you will not see my falling. I will stand and I will stand firm. I will stand and I will stand tall. I will not be destroyed and I will not be broken. I will not be confused. I will not be frustrated. I will continue to serve this God whom I serve. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are praying but you are not praying well. You are praying but you are not praying very well. I wish you would pray better. Or you want me to pray for you. Now the next thing he said here. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. That means you know what happens when Jesus says this. He's talking about Jesus. He said, Jesus will take you, present you to God. He said, God, it is time for apostle to be blessed with that thing because he has passed all these tests and now he's is without any fault he's without any spot he says to present you faultless you understand the word faultless that there's no fault at this moment there's no fault no smoking no drinking no lying no cheating there's no fault in him now to present you faultless in his presence Whose presence? God. So Jesus picks you up and presents you. Father, bless him. He's faultless now. So if this is what it will take for you to receive your blessing, 
why don't you think that it is necessary for us to maintain holiness and righteousness you are praying that lord i want to be faultless i want to be faultless and i want to be presented to the lord and when i'm presented to the lord i want my blessings to come i want my blessings to be released unto me i want my blessings to be released unto me i want my blessings to be released unto me i want my blessings to be released unto me i want to be faultless 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 in my thinking faultless in my heart desire faultless in my in my spirit faultless i want to be faultless faultless lord faultless 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 i want to be faultless take away every fault take away every field take away every power take away every curse take away everything that has to do with me take it away take it away take it away to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever forever and we are praying again when we're praying this thing remember the book of daniel when when daniel decided to fast god sent an angel gabriel and on on his way to to come to come and confirm that his prayer was answered the bible said that the prince of persia who is the prince of persia it is a is an ordinary prince that has been empowered with the demonic spirit with the devil now if you say the devil don't have power how can the devil hold his fellow angel have i made my point how can the devil hold an angel for 21 days an angel with an assignment from god huh now the, the revelation behind this thing is that when the prince of persia grabbed angel angel gabriel he didn't lock him up but he plays in the bible said that and he was kept with the kings 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 and i said god okay what is the meaning of these kings he said he said the destiny of kings people who are supposed to rule the same spirit has gathered the people in one corner and he added an angel to them and probably the people are walking up and down in life just going up and down but they are not ruling as kings hmm? they are not ruling as kings and he kept them there until what angel michael came and we've read that we've read about angel michael and his fight between